Yep. Yep. Bravo Gaming Club, worst pickup. Welcome, guys. I am Dan. This is a monthly pickup show of all sorts of media varieties. And I got a stack of stuff this week. We got some video games. We got a lot of DVD box sets because that's what's really warming my heart these days. I have a holy grail of box sets in here that I was floored that I found. It's the chances of finding something like that, slim to none. So, we're going to dive into it because there's a bunch. I mean, a bunch of stuff. Uh, the first thing we snagged up this week was the Complete Quest Conan. $1.75, yeah, that warms my heart. Both movies on here. Uh, come on, guys. Back in the day, gamer. I know, you. I think you wanted to look like him at one point. Maybe you still do. Uh been searching on Macari. I found a really good deal for all these fresh prints box sets. So we got the complete series right here. All six seasons. A couple of them are sealed up. I believe that I paid $26 for all these. So lots of entertainment right there. Good show too. Still holds up. Out of the old thrift, we found we found some more box sets. I was so bummed that we're missing season three, but we have three of the four seasons for So what is it? This is the Dean Kane. Yeah, it's the Dean Kane Superman. I don't remember the show being on at all. I mean I remember being on, I don't remember ever watching it. So this is all new to me. Uh, I'll try to find season three. That seems to be a little bit tough these days, but I'm sure it'll happen. You just gotta be patient. Besides, I have two seasons I gotta watch before I need season three anyways. Good snag. You guys mess with this show? You ever watch this? Tell me about it. I had this game once. Then my dad got a job. Um... Found the Naked Gun DVD gift set. Good little score there. Just has all three movies. So, cheap. We snagged it up. Um, Best Buy had an order finally go through that I pre ordered a while ago. And this is the Game and Watch for Legend of Zelda. So, I ordered the the last one, the, the Super Mario Bros, and, um, you know, the hype on it was like, oh, it's going to be limited edition, so buy it now or you won't get it. Lo and behold, like, you can still find the thing everywhere, so people just, like, went nuts. Um, I don't care. I feel like something like this is worth $60, in my opinion. It's good novelty. I mean, I don't think I'll ever open it. Maybe I will. But probably not, but it's still sexy, so. Um, GameStop, what did they do? They did the buy two, get one free on brand new games. They did it for a couple days um, last week or week before. Um, so I hopped on it. Uh, I haven't been buying a ton of new games lately, so there's a lot of stuff I don't have. So I took this opportunity to kind of snag up some stuff that I've wanted for, for quite a while now, actually. Um, we picked up Hotline Miami, the collection, on the Switch. So what is this? It plays like a, like an early Grand Theft Auto type, top down. You just uh, you're fucking shit up is what you're doing in it. Um, we got this Dungeon of Nahilubuk, the Amulet of Chaos, Chicken Edition. Maybe you guys can read that better than I. Uh, why did I snag this up? It's it's a turn-based strategy, and I guess it's um, a bit of a parody on on some of the other games in that genre. So it looks it looks uh, cute and endearing, and I like those things. Um, the last one we got 
which would have been the free game, was this Cobra Kai Karate Kid game. This is like a like Streets of Rage, but with with the Cobra Kai characters. I mean, that's kind of cool. Just an old fashioned beat 'em up. You can pick whatever dojo you want to use and and kind of mess shit up in it. You know, it has all the signature moves in it. it. Looks like it has all the characters in it from the show. And this is one of those games because you always know about like the licensing games, and I, I get I get worried because I messed up the what was it um, Stranger Things game that didn't look great. And I wanted to buy it, but I was like, oh, I'll get it next month. Lo and behold, it goes out uh, out of print because of the whatever licensing agreement they have, and now that game's really expensive. So I don't know if this is gonna do the same thing. But one could kind of guess that is a possibility. So I wasn't going to mess around. I really love the show and I can't wait for it to come back. And I can't wait to play the game too. Time out guys, real quick. We have a special guest with us this week. This is hot off the presses. I asked Preston, fellow Rebel Gaming Club member, who was going to Retro World Expo to give us a little rundown of how the, the whole event went. Because I was curious. I wasn't able to make it this year and I was a little hesitant about even trying to go. So Preston, let's hear it from you, bud. Hey everybody, it's Preston, and Dan asked me to make a video regarding Retro Road Expo, which took place in Hartford, Connecticut last weekend. Um, one of the things he wanted to know um, from, from me was uh, whether this con was good based on the COVID restrictions that were in place. Like, did the, did the COVID-19 rules and regulations make this um, like different or like worse than the previous Redwood Expos and honestly even with the COVID uh, regulations in place I personally thought that this was as good of a Retro World Expo as the previous ones were I mean I mean for the WF No, no Mercy tournament we we couldn't take the the belt with us we could only like take pictures with it and leave it at the convention center um, which is kind of a disappointment but you know it's not the end of the world and I and I get it for you know safety reasons but the the con itself we still had uh quite a lot of fun there like a lot of great arcade cabinets and pinball tables and free playstations and like rock band and smash Bros. tournaments and tournaments for various other fighting games and all that stuff and we also had plenty of like popular like youtubers there metal jesus rocks and pat the nes punk included and i got to meet the former i got to meet metal jesus rocks and super cool dude i mean i I posted a, a picture and talked all about it on my Instagram and Facebook. So, yeah, it was definitely a very good retro expo, I would say. I had a great time attending it for the third time in my life. And will I go back? Will I, do I want to go back to it um, one year? Absolutely. It's a, a great con, if I say so myself. All right, thank you very much for watching this just under two minute clip of mine. And now back to the show. Uh, I had the He-Man set, so I obviously had to get the, the She-Ra as well. Little spin-off from He-Man back in the day. Uh, 93 episodes too, that's kind of crazy. I got a really good deal on this. I think that's why I bought it, I think it was like 20 bucks. Wasn't bad. Um, I was pumped on this. I just, because before, if you wanted to buy the Punky Brewster, Brewster box set, you had to buy individually each season. Um, they didn't have like a mass bundle. And it was kind of pricey. It wasn't wasn't super cheap. Um, a couple weeks ago at Bull Moose, I noticed that the, this had come out actually. This is the, the complete series box set that has all, all the episodes on it. And uh, I think they had it priced at $60, which I'm like, eh, that's still, it's a little pricey. Um, I was able to find this on Macari for $34 shipped, which is an outstanding price. That's exactly what I wanted to pay for this. So it's another one for the, the collection we get to mark off. It's good. Um, I wish I had Walker Texas Ranger the whole series. I don't. That that's another one that just came out in a big box, but it's still you know around that ninety dollar mark. But I did find this, and this is the the eight movies that that they produced for for Walker. 
cool little piece. I don't mind it. I, I was watching some Walker the other night and I forgot just how cheesy the show is. So yeah, good thrifting find. Um, oh, I find I ordered this too. Like I've been spending a lot of money lately. I I've been like I have to work a ton because there's just no other option. So I, I keep like justifying all the spending because I'm forced to work. So I'm like I'm gonna get stuff I want if I'm forced to be here. Uh, I should have got this when it was first out, but I didn't. I waited on it. This is the. Ninja Turtles complete series, but it's in the van. What I like about this, it's still in the box. I found this on Macari. Um, what I pay? $70. So I'm not sure what this retailed when it first came out. I want to say it was 50 or 60 bucks. And I remember Jordan from RGC had bought it. It was like the last year, it was kind of in print. And I was like, oh, I'll get it next month, I'll get it next month. I never did. But um, we got it now though. So that's pretty sexy. My box set collection's on point right now, guys. I feel good about it. I really do. Um, I ordered this for like 18 bucks. The unit. I don't know the show at all. But it's from, what did it say? The producers of uh, The Shield, which I think is a wonderful show. So we'll, we'll give this one a shot, too. Um, years ago, I borrowed this set off of uh, a coworker, and um, I, I felt bad because I mean it's a, it's a big box set. So I, I watched the first season and I gave it back to him. But uh, what it is is uh, Farscape, which is a uh, sci-fi show. Uh, Jim Henson Productions is behind it, so you get some cool puppet work in there. Uh, th this is a fun, fun, fun space sci-fi show. I'm sure I know some of you guys out there have seen Farscape. Uh, do you nerd? If you're watching, I, I know you'll be commenting about this. Uh, picked up the Fall Guy season one. If you're growing up in the 80s guys, A-Team was, you're all about the A-Team. If you're at least 40 years old, A-Team in the Fall Guy with Lee Majors. So good. You know, just like jumping trucks and beating up bad guys. It's fun. So I, I ordered this off eBay. I think it was seven bucks or something. My buddy John. I know John has seen Fall Guy. Uh, just in the mail today from Macari. Well, once again, I, I'm Macari and me, it's just a bad mix because I check it all the time and I see stuff I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before. Um, what we have here is the complete collection of MXC. So this was on, what, what show was on? TBS maybe? It was uh, all overdubbed in English and um, what was it? A Japanese kind of... Um, Wipeout show where they're just having to do really, really stupid shit and just really fucking themselves up. Really, really funny. And and the set is really pricey because it's long out of print. So I I think I paid a fraction of the cost of what it would cost for this whole set. So I feel good about that. That just came in the mail. Yeah. Saw the rise you tell, saw the streams of light shining on you. Don't. And that's going to lead us up to the very last thing this week, which is something I never ever expected to find. And, and it randomly happened. I was at work last Sunday, scrolling through my phone, taking a quick break, and um, I, see it, I see this ad pop up in the Facebook marketplace, and I'm like, oh. Whoa, whoa, okay. So I saw that it was cheap right away. I'm like, that's like a third of the price. So I, I hit the person up. I said, listen, I can't get there right now. I'll, I'll come tomorrow. I promise I will be there. I will give you the money. She agreed. Super nice of her. So I, I get there. I give her the money. 
and come to find out what I have here is a first edition signed copy of a Holy Grail box set right here that I've wanted forever. And what is it? Uh, oh, this thing's so heavy. Dark Shadows box set, guys. Complete series. This thing is massive. So, all 1,225 episodes from 1966 to 1971. So if you were a kid during that time, you'd come home from school and pop this on. It was a soap opera with vampires in, in a mansion castle type thing. I've seen episodes. You can find them on YouTube. Um, years and years and years ago, I used to watch them late at night when I was really drunk. And it was always really amusing. But the, the cool thing about this box set, this first print edition is only 2,500 copies made. And, um, and it has a postcard from, and it's signed from, from Jonathan Freed, um, who is the star. He's, he's, the, he's the main, main guy in here. And he's obviously passed on now, but... Um, to have an autograph from him in this deluxe box like this, I can't wait to watch this. And this is definitely the, the nicest box set that I have in my collection. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. Really thrilled. I didn't realize how big it was too. They came out and they're like, here you go. And I'm just like, oh, all right. Um, I'll try to find some photos here of the, the content inside of it so I don't have to open it up. We're trying to talk to you guys right now. Uh, but yeah, thrilling. I paid $150 for that. And um, those box sets, just like if it was a normal one, not first edition signed, go for upwards of $250, $300. That's kind of like the standard price on those. So I already knew I was getting a really good deal anyway, so I, I felt good about the $150. And then come to find out about the autograph, I've, I've looked at um, different comps online for what they've sold, and it looks like eight, nine hundred dollars so I did pretty good. I got no plans to sell it. That's like one of those pieces I've wanted forever. I know Septim Sin, he's got one. I don't know if he has the autograph one, though. He'll let us know in the comments, though. I'm sure he will. So that's going to do it this week. What, what a haul. Of amazing box sets here. We got some video games, got some movies. We did all right. I feel good about it. So until next week, guys. Um, yeah, you do what you do, and um, toodaloo.